Hello, this is Dr. Kevin Kirk, and I'm going to make a obelisk today with some cool ruins on it, so that should be fun. So we'll start off just a little cubey here, and start to shape cubey a little bit. Just some very, very basic stuff here. Go into edit mode, grab the faces, grab this face. I'm going to scale this down a little bit, because obelisks have that weird kind of thing going on there. And this part, I'm going to scale way up, so just E for extrude, come up quite a bit and just kind of scale it like that and that's our basic obelisk shape kind of go diamond at the top so I'll do another extrude and then just scale pretty much all the way in not completely something like that yay there's our obelisk shape super super simple now we're gonna carve into it and make these kind of patterns so might as well zoom into it that's fun and I'm gonna start carving I'm just going to do a couple of patterns on one face. You can do all of them, whatever you want to do. Grab the knife tool. That's ideal for this situation. And just start to click up. Knife tool. Click. And just make some kind of interesting patterny things, if that's a word. When you finish it, just hit enter. And that builds it, and it seeks purchase on the other points to anchor it. That's okay. I'll uh, keep going. And enter. And I'll just do one more, because you get the idea. Cool, so I got a couple of little things there all set up for a basic pattern. I could do more, I could do whatever I want to on this, of course, but that's the basics. All right, so I got this, and I'm going to jump into materials here. So basic material for the monolith is already on there. I'll make it a little more gray, more dark, and that's fine. Um, I'm going to basically keep this for now, maybe make it a little less rough. And that's alright. And I want to jump over where I can see these things. So kind of a gray monolith. Maybe darker. I don't know. Make it cool. Something like that looks pretty cool. Alright. So why am I making it darker? Well, because I want to do some things with this. I'm going to go ahead and choose my faces now. And I'll just make sure I've got just these that I've just built. Just the, the ruins on it. We'll call it ruins. The ruins of the markings on it. And in my materials, I'll do a new one. This one, I'm going to have an emission on. And I'll make this. What do I want? Do I want yellow? Do I want red? I'll do yellow. Kind of a yellow, kind of an orangey. Something like that looks good to me. Okay, cool. So I got this color for the emission, and I'll set the emission strength up a bit and I'm not seeing too much yet at all because I haven't applied it so I'll do that now and then assign boom there now it suddenly changes which is beautiful now if you're in EV which is the default I'm going to jump into the render settings here the render properties make sure I hit bloom boom, and then it glows and that's where the magic is you can adjust it but the basic bloom is not bad so that's how you make a basic obelisk complete with glow. Go back to object mode and you see it like that. And it's just a really cool way to make something like that. I can make the, the <laughs> I don't want to say brick here. Yeah, well, whatever stone it is, look a bit cooler if I want to. Let's do that. Let's jump over to shading. Okay, so I'll make sure you've got the right one selected. So make sure you've got the, the rock selected here. And I'm just going to jump in and make it a little more interesting. I'll add a color ramp. That's always fun. And just a general noise texture on here. So just a noise and a color ramp. And the top to the top and the top to the top should be pretty good. Oops. When in doubt, zoom in. It works. All right, great. So I got this kind of obelisky-looking thing. I kind of like how it's I stretched the cube to begin with. Remember, so 
it kind of looks like that, which is just fine. Uh, make it look cool. Make it on something very dark with just some openings like that. Bring up the scale a little bit. Detail is great. So I'll bring up the detail so it looks cool. And the roughness just makes it look even better. And that looks really, really good to me. So I like that. Let's bring it back to the layout and see what we got. There it is. So I like it a lot. That's our obelisk. That's how we build it. That's how I make it. Oh, you can add a bump to it if you want to. That might be really cool. Oh, should I do that? I, I'm, I'm going to. Let's go back to the materials in shading. Well, I think I want those things to be chipped out or something like that. So I'm going to add a bump. That's a vector bump. Cool. And I'll just connect the color to that height there. And down here, I want to select, select the normal and go to the normal. That's pretty easy, right? So the normal to the normal. Boom. And now it's going to look like those things are bumpy. Come on, redraw. There it is. Now it looks like they're bumpy. It looks like they're pushing out. So if it looks that way to you, hit invert. Wait for the redraw. And now it looks like it's denting in. So yeah, that's good. And that is it. And I'm very happy with my obelisk. It looks really cool to me. Yeah, those things look like it's been dented in a bit. Ancient thing. Out of nice stone. And it's got the cool ruins on it. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. So enjoy your obelisk wherever you can use it. Have fun.